Good morning, Weller students. We'd just like to take a few minutes of your time to have a few students speak to you who are running for student body president and student body vice president. In my time at Wallard, I've seen many great leaders here. I've seen people who struggle to be a leader. Leaders are people who encompass the vision of their group and help to execute that with the help of their group. Today you're going to hear from three people who have that vision and hopefully will serve you well next year as your student body president and vice president. First you'll hear from Eric Lee, who is running for student body vice president. Then you'll hear from Carson Kunkel and Sophia Schubat, who are running for student body president. I encourage you tomorrow to take the time to go to the table and vote for who you think would be the best student body president and vice president to help lead this school next year. Thank you very much for your time. Hello, my name is Eric Lee, and I am running for student body vice president. I know what you're thinking. Oh, great. Another bureaucrat who wants me to like them is trying to get elected, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to answer a few questions that people had for me when I announced my campaign. Number one, what exactly will your priorities be if elected? I have exactly one priority, aside from gaining as much political power as I can and then accepting petty bribes on the side, and that is, of course, to represent the students as best I can on issues that matter and to stop spending time on issues that don't. Number two, what are your goals with the vice presidency? I want to make our school better. This is a unique opportunity to actually change the way certain things in school work, and I'm hoping to take advantage of that. Number three, why do you think you'll be good at this job? Well, I've done it for three years, and I know how the Senate works. Four, who is your favorite Bachelor contestant? Okay, why would someone even ask that? It's Corinne. She is the only reason any of us watched this season. Don't deny it. And don't even try to tell me that Vanessa is better for Nick than Corinne is. I mean, sure, they have some great chemistry, but Corinne is better than Vanessa on every fundamental level. Vanessa is the worst. When Corinne got kicked off, I openly wept th for three days and listened to Sarah McLaughlin on repeat. <sighs> Sorry. Five. You promised last year in your election speech that you would provide every Wallert student with a pony claiming that Mexico would pay for it. Where are the ponies? Well, yes, I did say that, and it will happen. I'm just struggling a little bit with some of the more technical aspects of that promise. I may have overlooked the fact that the ponies need living facilities and food, and I now estimate that the cost of this program is greater than the amount of money that the Mexican government has. So the pony program is dead. However, I am starting my new government initiative, which entitles every Wallert student to their own school-issued Lamborghini. I'll get more on that later. In conclusion, I humbly request the honor of your vote, but since I'm running unopposed for this position, as in many important elections, the popular vote doesn't matter, apparently. Thank you. You know, many people ask me, Carson, you're an idiot, and you do nothing for Senate. Why are you running for president? The truth here is that I may be an idiot, but I am running for president because I honestly enjoy the Wallet community. I've had a really good time these last three years, and I would love the chance to pass this on to everyone else. How many of you have used those uh, handy new water bottle filters? Well, actually, that was an idea proposed by me. Many of you know me as the awkward kid who wrapped alphabet aerobics at the Wallet's Next Top Eagle contest probably the weird kid at the back of math class that stands up, or the kid who knows absolutely nothing about chemistry and is somehow an AP. The kid who always races to finish the, math, the Spanish quizzes the fastest, or the kid who got excellent written on his thesis on the Rollins essay. But for those of you who don't know me, I am Carson M. Kunkel, and I would like your support in becoming the next Wallert student body president. I've been on Senate for the last three years, and I feel like I can really represent a large group of people because I have met so many, and I have gotten to know people here at Wallet and built many relationships with everyone from freshmen to seniors to teachers to even kids like Hunter McDonald. Although all this stuff sounds good, I would like to let you know some of the things I'd like to do as president. The first would be to bring back the men's Potter Puff volleyball game. This has been done in the past, and from what I've heard, a lot of people want to do this. I would definitely push for this as your president, and I would like to allow the allowance of Birkenstock sandals or sandals that don't have a back on them, but not like flip-flops. You know, there's a, there's a bridge in between there. Um, 
I'd also like to come to a compromise with the A team on the thought of gray shorts. I know a lot of people wear this and it's a neutral color. So I'd like to try to make that happen. So to wrap things up, I'd, I'd just like to say a few things. And that's like, are there people at this school who are smarter than me? For sure. Are there people at this school who are more creative than me? Without a doubt. Are there people in this school who are stronger than me? I'd say so. Are there people at this school who care for others more than me? Definitely. Are there people at this school who are more organized than me? Of course. Are there people at this school who are cooler than me? Certainly. But are there people at this school who love to take on the role of president as much as I do? No. Hello, my name is Sophia Schubat and I'm running for student body president. In each of the last three years, I've been elected president by my class, and I know that this experience in the field would give me a great advantage should I be elected. I've spent my seminars in and out of meetings, talking with faculty, and trying to make our school better for all of my classmates. It's been a lot of work, and there have definitely been speed bumps along the way, but it's all worth it for me because I've loved this school since I was five years old, and I want to make it the best it can be by the time I leave. I've been involved in a wide variety of activities during my time here, you know, playing four different sports and being in plays as well as behind the scenes and still keeping up in my classes. I'm not just trying to brag about how I'm involved, but my point is that I care about a lot of different things going on around here, and I think that every activity has its own importance. I have an advantage because I do so much and I have a wide base of activities and I'm able to talk to anyone comfortably. I don't have a list of things I'm going to change because I think a president shouldn't make empty promises. I would want my presidency to be based off of your ideas and what you, the student body, want and believe that needs to be changed. I'm fully aware that Senate is easy to miss and a lot of you probably don't care about it, but I really do. I'm ready and willing if you'll let me to do the work to get our school to be the best it can be. Thank you.